Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, Episode 584. Weight Loss Medications, The New Ones. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your host is Dr. Kathy Moffat, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging. Dr. Maupin is the author of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the award-winning book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of testosterone replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast. Today we're going to talk about the new medications that have been improved by the FDA for weight loss in the last several years. Last week we talked about all of the age-old medications we've used over time and that still work and still can be used depending on uh, your situation and your health and what has worked in the past. Everything about you is individual and You need to have someone who can guide you as to which medication is the best for you. Now, um, there are basically two groups of new weight loss medications that are very effective and they're very expensive. If you can get your insurance to pay for them, that's always an option and that's always, they should because it is making you healthier to lose fat. But in the past, they have chosen not to help us lose weight. So for you, if you want to use one of the medications I'm going to talk about today, you may want to talk to your insurance company and see if you can get them to cover it so that you don't have to be out of pocket. The medications are really effective, they really work, and they're really expensive like any any new drug because they had a lot of money invested in in finding these drugs and then producing them and going through the FDA rigors to get them approved. So the two, the first group of medications we've used for weight loss for uh, several years, and they're called, I know, I didn't make the name up, GLP-1 receptor agonists. Huge name, chemical name. Uh, the the drug name is that I'm speaking about is called liguride, L-I-G-U-R-A, or R-I-D-E. Uh, it's also called Victoza. It's also called Saxenda. Victoza is the same drug as Saxenda, but it is uh, packaged for people who have diabetes because this drug can be used to bring down blood sugar and to make people less insulin resistant to make them more insulin sensitive so that their calories become energy and they don't become fat. So that's the basis of this medication. They found out while they were testing it uh, back in the, um, I think that was around 2010, they were testing it with uh, groups of diabetics and they found that patients who were diabetic or who were not diabetic who took this medication lost fat. They lost weight. And when I say lost fat, I'm saying that because if you just starve yourself or if you just go on a traditional uh, low carbohydrate diet or a low, excuse me, calorie diet, you will then lose muscle as well as fat. And we do not want to lose muscle. Our muscle is is actually our... our um, furnace. It burns our calories. We don't want to lose muscle because we need it to burn our future calories. So this is one of those medications that preferentially burns fat and makes you, if you're diabetic, pre-diabetic, makes you less pre-diabetic, less insulin resistant, uh, and it makes it easier for you to stay at your weight for maintenance after you've gotten to your ideal weight. So this is an important finding uh, the drug names are Victoza and Sexenda. Sexenda is meant for weight loss. It's a, uh, they are both injectables. You cannot take them as a pill. Uh, it's a tiny, tiny needle that you can barely feel. And it comes in a pen, like an injector pen, that you put somewhere around your belly button, in the skin of, around your belly button, and then hit the button and it injects the medication. It's easy. 
It can be done at home. It doesn't have to happen at a doctor's office. And uh, both of these drugs are daily drugs. They have to be injected daily. Now, um, what do they do? For my patients that specifically say, I am always hungry, and there's a genetic reason for this. Some people are hungry even after they've eaten a meal. Some people are hungry if they've eaten nothing, the same hunger after a meal as if, there's, if they haven't eaten at all. So that's something that we have to combat when we're trying to help them lose fat. So especially for those patients and for my pre-diabetic patients and for anybody on lab that looks like they're insulin resistant, I choose this medication. Um, it works several different ways. It stops your hunger. So if somebody has always felt hungry all the time their whole life, which I feel so sorry for you if you do because, honestly, that's the worst part about being pregnant. You're hungry the whole time. No matter what you do, the baby's taking off all your calories. So that is not a good feeling. This stops your hunger. That's a really good thing. Now, some people eat mindlessly. They eat because they're nervous. They eat because they just feel like eating. Um, but they're not really hungry. For those folks, um, Victoza and Sexenda <clears throat> actually will um, <clears throat> make them feel like their stomach is full when they eat just a little bit. So how does it do that? Well, it slows the gastric emptying. Your stomach slowly empties. Instead of just dumping all of that food into your intestines to stimulate your insulin, it slowly releases your food. And then you don't feel like you're still hungry while you're eating your meal. You, halfway through your meal, you should feel full and you should stop eating. So the key here is you can't fight fight this medication. If you fight the medication, you'll feel sick because you'll feel like you just ate too much. So <clears throat> listen to yourself when you take this medication. When your body says, I'm finished, stop eating. Put your fork down and walk away from the table. You're not going to be hungry really quickly because your stomach's still emptying slowly. Therefore, you will. this will keep you full for a long period of time, which is awesome. So it works that way. It also works making you more insulin sensitive, like we talked about with metformin. You can use it with metformin. Some of my patients take both. Um, and that is very um, important if metformin just, somebody is on metformin and they just don't basically feel like it's helping them with weight loss anymore or their body has adjusted to it, then we can add Victoza or Sexenda. Now, it also <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> it also works by going to your brain and making you not feel hungry, nervous. All of that nervous eating seems to decrease. You don't feel like you have to just go eat to do something. I mean, that is one of the other issues. Some people, that's how they deal with their anxiety, is they just eat something. Well, that, that's over in a few minutes, and then you go eat something else. So that's not a good way to deal with it. And this decreases that type of feeling like you have to go do something or eat something. So along with proper nutrition, proper supplements, uh, proper exercise for your body and your body type, this will help you become much more um, effective in your weight loss and keep it off longer. Some people even go to a maintenance dose of, uh, of the Victoza or the Sexenda over time, and they stay on a very low dose of it, that that keeps them from having to rebound and gain weight. So it is, it's, a, it's an amazing drug. The biggest two side effects or biggest two problems with it, it I guess I'll say three, the biggest three problems is it costs a lot if your insurance won't pay for it. Usually it'll help pay for it if you're a diabetic. Um, if Basically, the other problem is it gives you reflux. If you already have reflux where you get um, stomach acid up into your esophagus, it will make that much worse. And um, that ends up being one of the big reasons people will stop using Sixenda or um, Victoza because that it just bothers them so much to have this reflux burning. And it's not good for your esophagus. Because of the slow emptying of the stomach, it actually backs up food into your esophagus. You can, 
you can counteract that by eating very small amounts often or um, basically going off of this and going on something else. So that's the second, that is the second issue. The third issue is the, is the needle issue. The needle, some people just can't do needles. They can't give themselves a, a shot. Usually I give it to my patients first and show them that it really doesn't hurt, show them how to use the pen, and then they usually are okay with it. But if they still can't do that themselves, it's a daily thing. You have to do it yourself. So those are the three things that cause me to go to a different type of a treatment rather than that. Um, that, so that's our first new family of weight loss drugs. The second new family of weight loss drugs is called semaglutide. And S-E-M-A, I'll spell it, G-L-U-T-I-D-E. Um, the first medication that came out is called Ozempic, and you've probably seen the commercials. And it is a once-a-week tiny, tiny shot that actually works similarly to Victoza and, and uh, Sexenda, but it doesn't give people the reflux. Yes, it's still expensive. Yes, it's very effective, and it decreases your hunger and decreases your, um, your stomach emptying, but not to such a big degree as the Victoza does. So um, it is one of the new medications that you can take either orally or you can take as an injection. So you would be able to bypass that problem with needles with this. Now, Ozempic is just a once a week shot, but they have something also by a different uh, drug company called Rybelus, R-Y-B-E-L-U-S, which is a pill that you take every day and it acts like the shot. It gives you the same advantage. It takes away cravings, it takes away hunger, it makes you feel full, it does, you don't have that always, I'm always hungry, I'm always wanting to snack, or it doesn't, it helps anxiety, it helps low blood sugar. It is um, basically a really great pill for losing weight. It does not give you any hypertension. It doesn't increase your heart rate. It has none of the side effects of some of the early uh, weight loss medications. So those that we talked about last week. It doesn't have any of those restrictions. This is a really good drug for most people, except that it costs a lot. And if you can get your insurance to pay for it, great. If you, they have coupons that you can use. Um, usually I have samples for the first dose, which carries you uh, for one month for the Ribellus and six weeks for the Ozempic. And then you can tell whether you like it and if it works. If it does, then it may be worth a six-month investment to help you lose weight. So these are, these are the things that are now out there that are much better. They've, they've looked at all the things that, all of the factors that keep people from using a weight loss medication, and they've countered that and made us, given us a safe alternative for people who can't take the other medications. So I guess I should talk about what, um, the, what I'm talking about as expensive. So I think almost anyone would call this uh, expensive, but the, um, the Victoza and uh, Saxenda Liguride is between 667 to 928 a month. And the semaglutide is between... Uh, four to six weeks is 900 to 1200. So I don't have a, I don't have a cost on Ribellus because it's rather new. Um, this is onerous. And if you can get, if you can use one of their coupons, then that would be great. If you can get insurance to help you, that would be great as well. And if you have diabetes, generally your insurance would, uh, be more likely to cover it. So those are the things that are out there now that are new. I have one other method of weight loss that uh, we will soon be using in our office, and that is an in injection that you get every three weeks called Lipoline. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard of Lipoline. Lipoline is a, uh, an IM shot. You get it in the shoulder or the hip uh, every three weeks, and it has basically 
all of the substances that speed up your metabolism. So it's a combination of vitamins, amino acids. Uh, it it detoxifies and cleanses your body, but it also speeds up your metabolism. Um, the vitamins it has in it are B vitamins, B1, which is thiamine, so it helps make energy out of carbohydrates. It has B2, which is riboflavin, and that helps convert food into energy. Niacin helps your digestion and conversion of food into energy. And um, it also is important in uh, producing uh, cholesterol, a healthy cholesterol level. B5 is panathenic acid. It's important for fatty acid metabolism. Those of you who have high triglycerides, this would be important. Uh, B6 is important for your nervous system. It helps you metabolize proteins and sugars. B12 gives you a boost of energy. It helps your nerves. It helps your brain. It helps you produce red cells. So that is another vitamin that is very helpful. The other substances in lipoline um, are not vitamins. They are leucine, which is an amino acid that uh, reduces calorie intake. So it causes a drop of um, in-between meal snacking, which is a problem for many of us. And it stabilizes your blood sugar so you don't get hypoglycemic and then have to feel like you have to eat. Chromium is known to enhance the ability of insulin to get into the cell. So insulin resistance is treated nicely with chromium. That's in lipoline. L-carnitine helps the body produce energy for making muscle, muscle movement, exercise, brain function, and your heart function. It's another, um, it's another amino acid that assists you in helping your muscles burn calories. There are also something called choline. Um, it is an inositol. Those are lipotropics. Though they basically work with other vitamins and minerals to help you burn fat. So those are two of the very active um, amino acids that help fat loss. So all of this together in one shot um, gives you energy, which is nice because then you have the energy to go work out. It helps you um, not eat things that you shouldn't eat, especially in between meals. It helps you not overeat. It can be used with these other medications or alone if you're opposed to medication and you can see how it works by itself. But it has to be prescribed uh, by a physician or a nurse practitioner and will be available in our um, weight loss program uh, rather soon so that we can offer that to our patients to help bump their weight loss program or uh, with another medication or help just take it alone and help them uh, achieve the weight loss that they want for 2022. So this is all that we know about weight loss. There are a few other treatments that are not effective, and I'm not going to go over that. And let me just say that if you see something on television and says, oh, buy this over the counter, it'll help you lose weight, it's likely to have substances in it that'll make your heart race maybe dangerous for you. I don't suggest that. I've... Um, check the contents on many of these things. And for anybody with blood pressure problems or heart problems or over 40, they probably shouldn't take it. If somebody's, if they say a substance has testosterone in it, then there's no way you can get that over the counter. It is, it is only by prescription only and controlled. And let me just say one other thing. Testosterone is key to weight loss because it maintains your muscle while you lose fat. So all of our patients are on testosterone pellets. And then we do weight loss on top of that, which makes it oh, so much more effective and fast. So I hope you learned something about how to control your weight and that it is not just one thing, but many things, and that medical weight loss is different than going to Jenny Craig or to Weight Watchers. It is all about getting you to your ideal weight so you can then maintain it. Thank you for listening today. I wish you the best. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the BioBalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit BioBalanceHealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at Facebook.com slash BioBalanceHealth.